All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. Before we get this video started, make sure you use the code YouTube for 15% off on all products on gfxcomet.com. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, check out the website. Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to GFX Comet. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make some sort of futuristic profile picture and even just a little cartoony which is really cool and you can use it on any social media or even as a Roblox game icon. So let's start. Uh, the first thing you need to do is to go in, uh, to Roblox Studio and then just click on the base plate. Alright, the next thing you need to do is to go to this home tab and then open toolbox. Alright, so a uh, quick little announcement. We have added some more new products to the store. As you can see, we have these icons and also the robbery simulator uh, logo PSC as well as the tapping champions. Also, don't forget if you use the code YouTube in all caps, you get 15% off of all orders. So uh, yeah, go ahead and check it out, see what products you like, and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, and now this model changes to plugins. And find the plugin called load character lit and click on it and then just uh, install it I, I already installed it now go to the plugins and open it and now find the, the character you want to use I'm going to use this one and make sure spawn and origin is checked and for uh, spawn r62 and just click and it's gonna spawn right here okay next thing uh, you want to do uh, is to click on it then go to the view tab go to explorer uh, you can drag explorer here like or however you want to like this now uh, select uh, this uh, model of him right click expert selection and then just I'll save it on the desktop and call it like whatever you want to I'm going to call it as a character and make sure you save it as obj file and just uh, and that's it now open it select his heads right click export selection and call it character head and save it now before you enter blender you're going to go on the google or youtube and just type uh, roblox rig or roblox gfx rig and then just find the rig you like but make sure the rig is the same uh, package as the character you're using so for example I'm using a blocky one right now so find like a blocky rig if you're using a boy rig just uh, if you're using a boy avatar just use a boy rig it's really there's like uh, at least thousand of rigs uh, online okay so now what I'm going to do is to open up a blender Okay, everyone. Once you get in, once you get in Blender, uh, you're just going to go to the file and then append. And after you download the rig, it's probably going to be the blend file. So just find where you saved it. I saved it on desktop and click on it and then go append. And now uh, go on the object file and then go append and select uh, press on this one, hold shift and then click on the last one and just go append. So now we have the rig here now i'm going to click on the head uh go to the to this tab here material material properties and i'm probably you're probably going to see this base color so i'm just going to click on it image texture now just go here open and find the texture uh, find the guy you save so for example if his name was already pro uh, it's going to say already pro uh, texture one texture if his name was Rollo 3 d it's going to say Rollo 3 d one texture, so just go open image. And if you click right here, or you're going to see the texture loaded correctly. The next thing you want to do is to press 0 on the numpad. And then press shift plus F to enter the fly mode, so you can easily move to, uh, easy move to bl in Blender. Now I'm just going like to... Uh, now I'm just going to go again to the tab right here uh, in output properties and now uh, this is to change the size of the 
camera that's really easy to do always but always use 1000 x 1000 because that's like perfect for, for profile pictures now i'm going to press shift f and just go get like near this character now i'm going to pose the character that's really easy to do so you're just going to press on these like sort of lines uh, also the rig I used is paint rig and I'm going to leave the we're going to leave the description uh, we're going to leave the link in the description anyways just click on this lines and change this object mode to pose mode and now just select what the which one you want and go back into the camera mode by pressing zero numpad select rotate and now you can rotate it like this for example and maybe like a little like this this and we could do like this Maybe I could do something like this. Yeah, I think this could be good. Now, uh, now what you're going to do is to um, uh, go here and change the render engine from EV to cycles. Uh, also, the, there is no really a difference. I mean, there is a small difference between cycles and EV. Uh, cycles is rendering slow, but like quality is all uh, re really really much better and cycles is used for like realistic but now and if it just uh, renders the image instantly anyways I'm going to cycles if you're using cycles may go to shirt make, make sure make sure to go to the sampling and then go to the nice the noising and select render and uh, NLM and go to the film and uh, select transparent just so the background is going to be transparent now uh, what I'm going to do is now I'm, what I'm going to do is uh, to go back to object mode and go to the file and then import because now we are going to import his heads. Go to the desktop, uh, find where you save his uh, save his heads and just uh, uh, make sure that this file is obj and not mhtl. So I'll go import obj now. His heads are here, but to like easy work with them, just select them and then right click and then set origin and geometry to origin. So they're going to be like down here. Now I'm going to use the move tool to move them like this, and like here. And now I'm just going to try to make them so like they uh, adjust the head. This might take quite a while, but don't worry. So yeah, like this. Also, if you need any help, just uh, post questions in comments and I'll try to respond. Okay, anyways, we pretty much uh, have the character. So now when that's all done, what you're going to do is to go to the render and go to the render image. And now it's just going to render it. Also just leave it like it is. Oh, wait, no, I forgot to do the lighting. Okay, so now uh, make sure you're in object mode. So now just press shift plus A and find this called light so you can use any of these I'll use uh, I'm pretty much uh, I'm going to use area and now I'm just going to move it in front of the character I'm going to go to the lining tab and just change the wads to the like 500 now I'm going to change it to 1000 and also I'll leave the color at the white and now 
uh, just uh, select this like yellow line and center it to the character maybe we could even move uh, this a little bit more like here okay so pretty much whole uh, character is uh, the pretty much whole character now looks good and it's bright okay so now uh, before you start rendering there's one last thing to do uh, select the head and go to this uh, plus or if you don't have the taping taping uh, if you don't have the tab called shading just go to plus and then general and then shading if you do just click on the shading and uh, go to this like nodes it's going to show up here and then just delete this texture and now when rendering the uh, heads are, not, are going to be transparent so now you can just go render image and leave it render it's uh, i'm pretty sure it's not going to take much so yeah i'm just going to be back when it renders okay once the file file is opened uh, you want to go to the google and find some cool background you want to use it's really up to you i'm probably going to use some sort of futuristic so like you could just go and type futuristic movie now, futuristic city background like that and go to the images and find the one you like I'm probably I could use this one looks nice so you're just going to save it to the desktop and then go again to the Photoshop file open and find where you saved it and open it. Okay, so after you open it, you're going to select the, you're going to take the select tool and just drag over it and then press Ctrl C and go back to here and press Ctrl V and now drag this layer below and now you can press Ctrl T to free transform and uh, size the background. If the image quality decreases a bit, it doesn't really matter because after this, now you're going to go to the filter and go to the blur and find Gaussian blur. And now just use the one you like. Like I'm going to use something like like 4.1. Now I'm going to use the sun ray sunrise texture which you can find almost everywhere on Google, everywhere on Google. so let me just open it really quick okay so I'm going to open that like this and now I'm going to select it control C and control V to paste it here and now drag it below in the middle of the, the background and the character and now I'm going to press ctrl T to just size it like this okay now we gotta change uh, this to white so you're just going to go to the right click uh, here and then blending options and color overlay and change it to white like this now you could you could go on the overlay or normal it doesn't really matter and just reduce the opacity if you want to to something like this I'm probably maybe going to even make this uh, even bigger let me see and now just let me reduce the opacity a little bit more Just 
I guess something like this could work. Now so go uh, right click on the character layer and blending options and find this call outer glow, uh, select this, then go here and now uh, select the white color uh, you can set the best to 200 and now just use the size and then the range to 100 and just uh, say something like this you can play with it I'm just gonna reduce the opacity a little I can put this on 100 yeah something like this now you could use uh, uh, stroke or inner glow it's up to you so I could like go on the inner glow uh, use white and then just go with the size a little bit thin yeah and then on a stroke if you want to uh, make sure this is on uh, outside uh, set color to white and now you can like make this bigger if you want to or reduce it it's uh, really up to you if you want to but I'm not going to use it it doesn't look good okay uh, I accidentally pressed uh, cancel sorry So again, just set the size to whatever you want to, range to the biggest, you can even set the size to the biggest and just press like this. Okay, great. Uh, now what you could do um, is you could group all of this, uh, make a new layer, create clipping mask and just go in the brush tool, uh, right click to change the size and stuff. I'll set the hardness low and size something like this select the black color change the, uh, this to overlay and maybe you could just go like here maybe this is too much so yeah I'll just like go like this a little on the side so we just have some sort of cool effect you can also try this with any other color, for example, blue, it's really up to you. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, uh, thank you for watching, uh, join our Discord server, and if you want to, you can visit the site uh, gfxcombat.com. Uh, see you in the next one.